hello hello hi guys happy monday trust that all is well with all of you trust that you had a wonderful week you had a restful week to my mommies all of my moms mom to be all those who are moms and waiting um moms by proxy aunties god mommies uh whatever motherly role you would play i am wishing and hoping that you would have had a wonderful uh, mother's day yesterday so i trust that all of you uh, in whatever capacity you may show up as a mother or your maternal instincts would function i hope that yesterday that you were treated very well you were celebrated uh, moms are truly gems uh, you are the most hard-working people that i know um, those of you that are great mothers. Um, <laughs> so I'm hoping that yesterday was pretty relaxing. Uh, you felt cherished, you felt loved, you felt adored and appreciated. I hope that yesterday was a fantastic day for you. And you would have had self-care galore. And if you're like some of my moms who would have gotten gift certificates from this spa, which I am currently in at the moment, um uh, looking forward to treating you all when you all do show up and um so if your pampering session has been postponed because you would have now opened the envelope and realized hey i have a gift certificate from beauty with grace i have massages and facials booked looking forward to seeing those of you who would have gotten those lovely items in your packages for your mother's day gifts So today, I am going to speak to us from the book of Romans, Romans chapter 5, verses 3 to 5 to be specific. But before I go there, I want to bring something to our attention. So I went, I started thinking about um, different disasters that could take place. When you know when's this you coming with you this Monday, this gracious Monday, Monday afternoon, Monday evening, whichever you, whenever you would be looking at this. Tuesday, Wednesday, whenever. Where's this you coming with here? Disaster. This how you gonna start your devotional. I know, right? But I started thinking about what one will need to do during a natural disaster. So for a great they tell you to stop take cover and hold so don't be running around frantic don't lose all your marbles hopping and skipping all over the place in a in a crazy way stop take cover and hold hold your position for flood they tell you to seek higher ground in the case of a tsunami same thing seek higher ground stay away from the ocean stay away from anywhere close to the sea Seek higher ground. In a volcano, protect yourself. Make sure you wear long sleeves, goggles, masks, so that you're not inhaling any of the ash and none of it is coming to, into contact with your skin. Um, I'm trying to remember which other one that I, I looked at, but I know I majored on the flooding and the earthquake in particular. I know for tornadoes and like countries that experience that they usually go underground <laughs> and they stay there and they take cover until the moment has passed so in all of those situations um nobody really is supposed to be losing it really and truly take your time <laughs> focus on what needs to be done and get it done as quick as possible um and then i read Romans chapter 5. Romans chapter 5 verses 3 to 5 says. Let me read from verse 1. A smoother, smoother reading as my bishop would say. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So we know in war, we know in no fight, we have peace. Through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Mystery. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings. 
<laughs> so we glory in the fact that we have peace with God and we have hope um, that we have gained access by faith into the grace which we now stand in. We boast in this hope, uh, hoping we boast in the fact that we, we have this. Not only this, don't only boast in that, don't only glory in that, don't only be happy about that. Also glory in your sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. I tried looking at other versions to see if anybody has said it better um, in a nicer way, in a more palatable way to make you swallow it so it wouldn't feel like aloes, bare raw aloes. <laughs> that they chase it with some sugar or something. But nobody check the ESV, I checked the NASB, and they all said to glory and to be suffering, and to pursue that it will produce perseverance. So I decided I was going to look up the word perseverance and the word um, Endurance, because those were the two words that they changed around. They changed around perseverance to endurance and endurance to perseverance. Um, <laughs> so endurance is the ability to last or withstand wear and tear in an unpleasant or difficult process or situation without giving up. So let's bring my back to the volcano and the earthquake scenario. And the flood waters, <laughs> right? I think about videos that I would have looked at where individuals would have experienced these disasters, natural disasters. You don't have control over what is taking place. You ain't asked for it. Um, if you had a say, you would say no, thank you. I could no thanks, no thanks. Pick somebody else. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not just adjusting this crowd right now. Please pick somebody else. I can't. <laughs> In the words of Auntie Betty, I can't. I can't. I am not the one. Those would be the refrains, phrases, statements that you would make if somebody asked you, do you want to go through such and such? So I think about these people and nobody, there's no warning. Um, no warning to say obviously it will have we have things in this century that will tell us hey the sea getting active and these waves these waves climbing all year <laughs> what should i say um the tremors that we are experiencing this volcano look as if it's going and erupt um we're watching the winds and the rains that come in and it's looking like if it's a category five hurricane that is approaching Flood waters is, is, is eminent. High winds. <laughs> Batten down and prepare yourself. We have those things. But in terms of the experience in the disaster, in the storm, in the calamity, in the trouble, there's no, there's no warning. There's no... <laughs> the warning that Solomon gave us is that we have days with plenty trouble. The days are few and they have plenty of trouble in it. But the experience, like what you will go, there's no warning for that. There's no... Mm -mm. But... Romans is telling us in the NIV, NASB, and the ESV that I read. <laughs> it says, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. And perseverance, character, and character hope. Perseverance means continued effort to do or achieve something despite the difficulties. You know that um, meaning, it had steadfastness, unwavering, and firm in your belief. And I started thinking. You know, God, as believers, 
you are requiring that in the midst of our difficult, unpleasant situation, that we have the ability to withstand wear and tear, withstand heavy rains, withstand heavy winds battening down in the house, withstand water that might want to come up to your window, withstand all of that. And to continue to do or achieve a successful Christian life, to continue to do or achieve spiritual maturity to continue to do or achieve representing Christ well having Christ like characteristics come out of you during these difficult unpleasant process or situations without giving way without mashing up without breaking down without destruction you have to do that during suffering, <laughs> during your storm, during your tsunami, during your volcanic eruption, during your flood, due to storm, heavy wind and rain, constant, constant wind and rain brings flood. <laughs> during that period, you have to maintain continued effort to do or achieve something despite those difficulties unwavering remaining firm in your belief and what you believe in for and hope does not put to shame because God's love I'm going to go from for perseverance building character and character hope and hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. So I decided to get my concordance for the hope because I said I had to have some kind of good news somewhere in these few verses. Something. <laughs> Something need to lift my spirit here because Lord, <laughs> hope is looking forward to what is good. And reading Hebrews 11, I realized that some of the Hall of Famers of Faith who were hoping and believing didn't actually see the thing here <laughs> but they got it in glory where's the encouragement Melina? <laughs> oh god now usually Ara, sorry that this video is such a unpolished version of myself <laughs> But all yeah, usually I will come and say, so my encouragement is, my encouragement for us is, and I know you're waiting for the, what's the encouragement here, Melina? <laughs> We're waiting on the good news. My encouragement for us, for you, for I, for anyone that you will share this video with, my encouragement for us is, ensure, I said it last week, Try not to let what is taking place outside. For the volcano, when I looked up, what you're supposed to do with that volcano, they say close all the windows, all the doors, to make sure none of the ash gets into your house. And last week I mentioned, to try and avoid contamination. Try and avoid the flood waters from getting into your reserve that you have to drink after and that you might have to give some to the neighbor. We don't want the flood waters because we know flood waters, there's no clean flood waters. All flood waters contaminated, dirty, and might have rat remnants. Somebody might still have a latrine. Demos. Demos. So there's no clean flood waters. So you don't want to walk in it. You don't want it to get on your clothes and the things that you have to use and the water and stuff that you have to drink. In fact, um, they will tell you here, the natural uh, disaster preparedness people will tell you to have a little chlorine to put in your water just to make sure that what you consume is not contaminated by anything foreign. 
that could get you sick. In our position, we're here, we are dealing with sufferings. <laughs> you don't want to get mentally sick, emotionally sick, which will in turn make you physically sick. My encouragement for us today is to despite, to remember that despite the situation, circumstance, difficulties that you may be going through that might be a uh, metaphorical volcano, Flood, storm, earthquake, tsunami, typhoon, whatever version of a disaster you may be experiencing at this point in time. I pray that you'll have the ability to last. I pray that you'll have the ability to endure the difficult situation and not be worn down and not to give way. I pray that your physical house, <laughs> your emotional house, all of that will stand for you. That despite whatever challenge, difficulty, unpleasant situation you might be faced with, you will be able to hold up without giving way. That you will be able to continue to achieve Christian maturity. Continue to achieve spiritual maturity continue to achieve christ-like thoughts and words and actions and behaviors despite whatever you may be facing whatever you might be going through that despite that thing whatever that disaster is what divorce losing a loved one sickness in your body, whatever that volcano represents, I pray that you will be able to withstand all of it. The heavy winds and the rains, the torrential rains, the thunderstorm, the nine foot waves that wants to come in and sweep all of you away, all of your mental health, all of your joy, all of your peace, all of your self-worth and value everything that wants to take that away i pray that you will be able to stay steadfast which means to be firm knowing that all things work together for good to them that love god and are called according to his purpose knowing that god who sees all and knows all and is sovereign, is fully aware of everything that is taking place in your life and has allowed said storm, volcano, typhoon, tsunami, earthquake to take place to build character, to build endurance, to build perseverance, to build a woman or a man that is able to last to withstand wear and tear in an unpleasant, difficult process or situation without giving away. God is building an individual that will be able to withstand whatever he allows, whatever the enemy throws at us. Because sometimes, like I said last week, we saw, so, oh, the devil, the devil, the devil. And sometimes God could be allowing certain things to build a super Christian, you know what it is when you're watching Marvel and thing is be a superhuman. X-Men. <laughs> super. He's building a super Christian that will be able to withstand the difficulties, the hardship that they are facing. He or she. The only pronouns that we use. He or she. And that man or that woman. He is building an individual that will be able to withstand whatever they are facing, facing and build someone, build the character, build the Christ-like character, build holiness, build righteousness, build the ability to keep their tongue, build the ability to, to press towards the high calling, press towards the man for the high calling of God in Christ Jesus, press to keep pressing, 
the ability to keep pressing, the ability to be unwavering, to stay firm in the fact that even in this, I will please God. Even in this, uh, my friend Aline uh, said in her, her last women's seminar that knowing who I am determines how I function. Knowing who I am in Christ determines how I function. So in the midst of your difficult, unpleasant disaster, allow the word of God, who you are in Christ as a believer, to determine how you function, even in the midst of the, your natural disaster. So hold, take cover until our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ come and speak to that storm and say, peace be still. And say, peace be still. So I pray that this encourages some soul. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. God's richest blessings upon each and every one of you. I pray that God will continue to keep, persevere, protect, and preserve, even in your difficult and pleasant, unpleasant situation. May you be a solid woman or man. May you be one that is steadfast, firm, unwavering as a believer. Always exemplifying the fruit of the Spirit, the characteristics of Jesus Christ. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. And I hope somewhere in here you found good news. <laughs> That will encourage and bless you all this week. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Don't forget to book a facial or massage um, this coming week. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Love you guys. <laughs>